Stream journals. There we go. I see a chat room. Okay, someone's in there. Hi. Evening. Uh, I know Final Fantasy is streaming right now, so uh, I think there's something very big happening for final fantasy I'm not trying to um compete um so i'm just going to be boring and play a little bit of um yeah i know i'm fading away i put like an alpha mask on this thing and it looks really stupid doesn't it um i'm gonna do some uh not for long tonight um and probably gonna be a bit slower um but hi for those that uh, are um are up um yeah okay i don't have <laughs> i don't have any beer i just have a boring little mug here and a bubbly um you can watch it later. Don't stay up for this. This is too boring to stay up for. Um, I am. Uh, it is a bit of a stealth stream. Uh, let me see here. Should I should I let them know? How do I do that? I see. I see people in chat. That's very nice. Hope you're doing well tonight. What else are you supposed to say? I'm going to drop over in Discord. And let's say... I'm going to look for... Um, I'm great. How are you? <laughs> Someone's already made some bad life decisions. Uh, okay. Yeah. Sound is low. Let's, let's, uh, let's look at that. Good evening, good evening. I know um Yeah, yeah, the uh the VOD was super compressed, wasn't it? Um lots of people from different uh time zones. I know Rebecca is very excited for um Final Fantasy uh, uh is doing their I think of their stream for their next uh, big update. I'm actually kind of curious about it as well, so I'm not sure why I'm not watching it right now, but I'm in a Soul Frame Preludes phase right now. So uh, I'm going to be playing a little bit and probably uh, doing a lot of coding or maybe poorly, doing a lot of poor, terrible coding. Uh, let me see here. I'm going to see if I can like capture another window here uh, so that's not good to show is it um, stream manager uh, that's not too bad uh, okay let's see here uh, visual studio probably better yeah let's get that going uh, oh I'm moving myself all over here look at that Oh, someone's in uh, Sweden. That's crazy. Wow. Uh, yeah, I've got Soul Frame kind of paused here. Um, I don't know if I can boost my mic any higher. Do you think that's you think that's cool? Uh, Clem in chat was awesome. <laughs> that's right. Advanced audio properties. Um, yeah, it seems like it's maxed right now. I got like one of these like um, Samsung things, you know? Um, 
Anyway, let's just take a look here. Let's lock that. Uh, where is that? So reset. Okay, so there you go. There's a, a preview of how um, exciting things are going to be. Interesting. Okay. Lots of interesting problems here. Uh, we can put the bug output down like this. You can see how uh, terrible I am at this. Uh, okay. Yeah, I, I, I hear you on don't show uh, Soul Frame at Tunnelcon, um, but we're probably going to still show a little bit. Um, not as much uh, this year, I don't think, but uh, it's uh, kind of important for DE to, uh, to do a little bit of both. But you have my sympathies. Um, okay, so we don't really want to see the code right now. Yes, ASMR encoding, exactly. Ah, uh, yes, a sound blaster. I remember setting the interrupts for those. Yeah, well, we'll we're probably going to play a little bit and uh, and chat and then um, look at um, look at maybe a few bugs and see if we can fix them or make them worse. Um, I, this alpha channel on my face is really driving me a little crazy, so I might just like kill it, but maybe it does kind of look like I'm in the trees here, right? Like I'm hiding in the, in the, in the grass. Um, no, I, under, I understand. I think I, 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 I hear, um, I get it. Um, the event is kind of uh, a little bit for both games, but obviously Warframe is the is the as they say the tent pole. So uh, we'll probably show um, some Soul Frame this year coming, um, but not as long. We weren't we weren't happy with how uh, long that demo was. <laughs> we kept trying to cut it down, um, but uh, here we are. Here we are. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna unpause this. Uh, wake up. I'm gonna see how loud that is. Hopefully, I didn't blow your blow your ears off. And, no, I think it'll always be Tenocon, um, but that is a good point. I am playing uh, with a controller today. And is it framey? Just looks framey in OBS. That's probably fine though, eh? Um, let me see about maybe turning the desktop audio. My mic is cranked. It's like kind of on the desk in front of me. So, and I'm being very mumbly. So that doesn't help either, does it? Uh, okay. Whoa. I also got a new monitor. And it's uh, it's like a OLED monitor. Uh, so if I open like a a Chrome tab, it's just not in uh, dark mode. Um, okay, cool. So uh, last stream, uh, I just was kind of testing stuff out. Ended up playing for a long time, and. Uh, Kind of got lost in playing it and i've been playing it a lot over the break so um so that's the thing isn't it i'm gonna uh maybe bring down the audio a little bit of the game once i go back to it um yeah the fate like look how bright this monitor is like seriously if i minimize this that's this monitor is so bright. Um, you know what I mean? Like this is, anyway, I, I'm almost embarrassed to tell you how cool this monitor is I got, which was a gift uh, from my family. 
uh, it is uh, it is an ultra wide uh, like a, a geo neo neo g9 oled uh, it's so so nice um, the one thing it's not great at is text which is uh, a bit of a a bit of a thing um, for a programmer but yeah it is a key light isn't it yeah I think I'll have to put sunscreen on next time I do this yeah OLED is is really nice I was just reading that uh, Sony is going to go away from OLED and do uh, mini LED or something Oh, you're on your phone and you're watching 144p yikes um right so the nice thing uh with the monitor is um is i can have everything without having like i usually have a monitor for coding and then a monitor for like the game and this just lets me have the whole spread so i'm, I'm pretty exciting me uh, excited about it uh but yeah the text Yes, I, the clear type thing. I, I have run through all of that. Um, yeah, so this is where we're at with Preludes right now. Um, a lot of... Uh, a bit of changes going on that our um, envoys haven't got yet. Um, Just gonna uh, move some tabs around here. But yeah, it's all in the same monitor now, which is so 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 nice. I wonder if I can um, take a look at my okay. Yes, okay. So new job got revealed. Okay, I was just checking on the uh, on Discord here. Are you sure? Okay. Yeah. The HDR is broken right now in Soul Frame uh, because we are, our code is a month behind the uh, evolution engine. Uh, tip we call it which is what whispers in the wall is so we are integrating uh, this month with that we are so yeah once that gets integrated over then we'll have working hdr again um and of course that'll be the first thing i i try with uh, my oled uh it is not no 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 we're not we're not using unreal this is this is all our all our own jazz here, all our own silly mistakes. Um, but you can see uh, the Whispers in the Wall new fog system, like from Warframe, was kind of uh, prototyped in Soul Frame, and you can see it's quite uh, snazzy looking, isn't it? Uh, and so this week we've been working on design changes and uh, fixing bugs and um, we haven't rolled this out to our Preludes Envoys yet because uh, we are setting up our branches, which a branch is a fancy way of saying having a copy of the game that you can send to you lovely folks while we break the other copy. Right now, anytime we send something to our Preludes players, it is literally the same build that I have open on my other monitor. So it, the bad thing about that is, um, is uh, you can't break stuff or, or wait, you know, you can't uh, make a lot of aggressive changes. Uh, so that's not good for development. Um, why am I so transparent? That's so silly. Uh, uh, let's see. Can I make this less transparent? It's so goofy. You can see how me getting back into this is uh, 
Yeah, I know. I'm I'm fading away like an ancestor in Soul Frame. Uh, let's check here. Probably is like a, a stupid filler filter I've got on here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I don't know. Maybe I should just kill this thing. Just like do a square. Do you wish to remove it? Yes. Bye. Okay. And then I'll just like shrink myself down here. And I'll like cover up my face with my my controller thing. I guess the controller thing's not super useful, right? Um. Yeah, pale. I don't know. It's January in Canada. You're supposed to be pale in January in Canada. Uh, plus, I'm getting like blasted with this uh, light from this HDR. Um, turn the opacity back up. I don't know. Let's kill this though. Oh, you can see we've got my little. Um, these are our little debugging tools we we build into the game. Uh, let's see. I think I can get rid of that. Uh, is it that? Yeah, there we go. Um, I I want to read chat here. Let's see here. Uh, yes, questions about difficulty scaling in Soul Frame. Yeah, I mean, we're gonna make all new mistakes with this game. So, who knows? Who knows what will happen? Oh yes, there's some questions about uh I think probably unity stuff. Unity. Yeah, I don't think we're we're not um we're not in the um game engine business. It's uh we make our stuff to make our games fast and uh and that's kind of I think probably where we'll 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 stay. Um Anyway, so here we are. I can probably just answer questions in chat, but anyway, uh, this is going to be even more chaotic apparently than uh, last stream. I hope that isn't coming across super choppy like it is in my uh, OBS view here. But yeah. Yes, lots of flowers. Uh, okay, so yep, we got we, we're kind of hanging out here. Um, I'm streaming some Soul Frame. Uh, looks like the sun's about to set with the pretty colors. Yeah, the RE engine is really cool. That's the uh, Capcom one, right? Yeah. Uh, chilling out here. Uh, if you are in Preludes, uh, well, actually, if you're not in Preludes, we're going to um, hopefully do some more invites uh, next week. Uh, and if you are in Preludes, we are going to um, we are going to do some design changes uh, around crafting, around controls, um, fixing bugs. Um, mostly, I think we're pretty happy with the. Oh, you love that? Check that out. Let's let's go look at that. Because he's his cloth was. Um, was update called because he's probably in another uh, terrain zone than I was. So his cloth was staying up like that. Oh, it looks so stupid. Um, love it. Um, so, oh yes, absolutely. So I, I fixed last night a long standing bug with the hair, uh, which was really bugging me. And of course, uh, Warframe will get all that stuff uh, because we share all the code uh, between the two teams. I am excited for Dragon's Dogma 2. Actually, I was just I just sent the um they released a classes um playthrough a whole bunch of footage uh and I was uh looking at that. 
I love the first one. Uh, yeah, there will be main story quests in the game. Uh, kind of interesting, I guess, is we mapped out what we consider like the player's prologue story. Um, and Jeff was here in my house a couple days ago. We were kind of going over it. And um, we were kind of were like having this kind of discussion about, well, this kind of feels really like a single player game. And like in a way that's not good, in a way that's like spending too much time, not kind of like getting into the action. Um, cause right now in, in, um, in, uh, preludes, we just like dump you into the game, right? Cause we don't, we're making it as, as the preludes on boys suffer through it, you know? Uh, and when it was going in, I thought, oh man, Jeff, Jeff and I are going to have a discussion about how we like just bam, you're in. Uh, so we're going to take kind of the prologue story and kind of change it to be more of like pulling out of the world in any order you want rather than a super, super linear thing. Um, but um, if you're like the type of player who likes to play um, MMO games alone, that you're like me. So uh, definitely playing this co-op or playing it solo is absolutely, um, absolutely a viable way that we see um, you playing, playing the game. Um, so yeah, I'm just, there's a few things I want to fix today. I haven't really thought about it a ton. Um, I'm going to go over and set my little resurrection shrine here. Um, but we have been um, reflecting on how Preludes went and looking at the feedback of our amazing little Preludes group. Uh, and I'm kind of hooked on Soul Frame right now which is weird because there's not a lot to it. Um, so I'm pretty excited about it and that's why I'm streaming. So I'm gonna kind of like run around, look at stuff. I'm gonna, I'm gonna engage uh, with uh, all you friends here in chat. Ask me questions, anything you want. Um, yeah, it, it is kind of hard, especially if you go up, if you go closer to uh, the fort, um, Soul frame is will kill you. Uh, it is a bit harder. It's slower, less enemies. Um, there is a the only boss fight in uh, Preludes is the Garen boss fight with Diora. Yes, massively single player online gaming. That was me in Asheron's call. I loved playing in um, Dark Age of Camelot or Asheron's call. Just seeing all the players and going, "Oh man, it's so cool." It's an MMO. Now everyone leave me alone. <laughs> I'm going to go run to a mountain and get away. Um, we well, we're probably going to try to do a founders program uh, for the game to try to steal money from you. Um, maybe late this year. So I don't know. Uh, it's all just depends on how it goes and how our prelude envoys feel the game is and if it's valuable enough to ask for that. Um, so I'm just gonna kind of run around. We have a time of day cycle. It, uh, it, it <laughs> I am a huge uh, Red Dead uh, fan. So I made the time of day cycle in Soul Frame uh, about the same amount of time. So it's actually a very fast time of day cycle. Um, and yeah. So my objectives tonight are, oh, Secret World, remember players for zone. Oh, did I play Secret World? Yeah, I did play Secret World. That was kind of like the mixed modern day thing. Did it? But it was like almost kind of Cthulhu-ish. Yeah, I think um, that was one thing I think, oh, here, you get these little, um, I think one of our envoys in Preludes called these the RGB, because you have the, our magic uh, system has these, um, 
red, green, and blue <laughs> color scheme. So anyway, you can find um, sources of the arcanic energy uh, in, the, in the world. But here's the dirty secret. Yeah, the breakable items are inconsistent. Um, that's true. I don't know if I can make my mic louder. Let me try. Let me try. I'm in OBS. I got my little... I could just turn down the desktop audio. I mean, that was that could be a thing. Um, let me just choose things here. I've got it kind of running through my headphones as well, just so I can kind of hear. Children of Light. Have you ever played Children of Light? Oh my God. That's one of my favorite games of all time. So yes, I have played Children of Light. And yes, everything rhymes in Soul Frame, and it's because Soul because of Child of Light doing it, and it's so rad. If that's the game that you're mentioning, whoever mentioned that, I have I have played replayed Child of Light so many times, so 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 many times. Uh, we're gonna do some more invites, but I always have to come to this cabin and kick this barrel. Ugh disappointing no gold no drax for me yeah that i was so i mean man if they did a sequel it'd be so wicked yes the console community um Children Light will come to PC. You can download a demo on Steam. Oh, okay. Well, you know what? I haven't beat it on PC yet, but I have replayed it so many times. Um, man, I could just talk the whole stream about Child of Light. Just, just an incredible experience, and you will see in Soul Frame the influence of that game. Absolutely, for sure. You just can't help it. Um... So the character customization is super basic. Maybe I can reset my character. You know what? I can show you how crude the preludes um, is for character customization. Um, I can kind of play that. I keep resetting my account, which is a real bummer because, uh, okay, so night's falling and we have this kind of like cool, oh man, I love the mood of this. That is so vibey. Um, I can show you how crude it is, but obviously the character customization is going to be really, really um, important for Soul Frame uh, because um, we're trying to make you know more of a straight up RPG with our own kind of sensibilities. Um, yeah, yeah, the moon is the green just to be different. Um, and this is the little ring there. I mean, we're still uh, working on the art for this, but the little ring there is where before the ode came, people, um, that's where the souls of the departed went and so on, um, as part of their forgotten, uh, religions that the bad guys took away from them. Usually there is a really good chest here, uh, and it did not, you see, I'm like, I'm literally farming. <laughs> Soul frame right now. And I'll tell you why I'm farming. It is a, it is Warframe uh, graphics engine, uh, and in fact, it's actually a little bit behind Warframe. But the stuff in Whispers of the Wall, all the stuff in Whispers of the Wall was built in in Soul frame and then backported and shipped in Warframe before Soul frame could even ship it. Um, we are going to release in consoles. Uh, and as someone, as someone said uh, about founders to try to do it on consoles, we will try, we will look at that. And I, I'm, um, I'm very grateful that you're interested in that. Uh, it does, it does create like a bit of a slower vibe cert wise, as you're probably well aware. Um, but we'll, we'll look into that. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll chat up, we'll chat up those console people. Uh, RTX, I think RTX is something maybe we can put um, on the roadmap. Right now, tech 
the next steps for tech for us uh, is this really cool thing um, that's going to make uh, loading the game a lot faster in large environments, which is going to benefit Soulframe a lot and benefit Warframe a little bit. Uh, and then we have our um, iOS version uh, shipping in a few months as well. So everyone in the studio is very busy uh, before we get to RTX. Uh, dudes are camping out. So for preludes, we didn't want to finish the rest of the landscape, so we just like put giant walls in. <laughs> oh, there's the green moon. So it wants to look at the green moon. Sort of pale green, isn't it? Uh, yeah, this is cool. It's not final. We'll we'll do a little a few iterations to it. Uh, uh, FSR. Yeah, I think we have FSR 2 right now. 3 looks interesting, but uh, but uh, we need to, yeah, we need to look at that. I think it just came out a few weeks ago. It is, um, it does look like something like Duveri. It's like, Duveri had those big walls and kind of like gold stuff. So like I'll t rip the camera off here and just like go trucking around here. Here's these little dudes. How's it going? No sinecure, dudes. Oh, he just came out of the tent. He's a little, he's angry, but yeah. We we didn't want to finish these areas, so we just kind of like <laughs> put walls around them. And you can see it's uh, pretty bare bones out here, isn't it? Um, game development, blah, blah, blah. So, um, Can the wolf speak? Yeah, most of the omen animals can. Uh, currently does not have a uh, actor cast though. Yeah, I know. I actually got up on the wall the other night um, trying to clip through some things. There's lots of ways to clip through right now. Um, but this is what nighttime kind of feels like right now. You can see that I'm a little camp cook out there making roasting some marshmallows I think eventually maybe you will be able to swim but that's not a priority right now yeah can the wall speak is there a man in that wall not in this one uh no it's not just a forest but obviously for preludes things are really um basic we're kind of doing like um, an early Warframe concept with developing this game, which is uh, get people playing, get people playing the basic parts of it as early as possible, and and you know, kind of working with them for uh, you know what what's good, what's bad. I'm trying to emphasize the the good and de-emphasize the bad. Uh, if you're a Preludes player, you can probably notice something that I put a light on the player to handle the cases where some of our Undercity stuff is a bit too dark. So this is a very high level area and I should not be here. I probably said that last time, but I reset my count. So I want to... Oh, oh, I don't like that guy. But he's usually guarding a chest, so nope, nope, nope. Got a nope out of here. Nope, 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 nope. Let's get out of here. Nope, nope, nope. Nope, nope, nope. Wow. Yeah, I think right now Soul Frame Preludes performance wise is like no holds barred. We just kinda went for it. But yeah, it it'll run on like a reasonable laptop and stuff is our eventual goal um there isn't a desert in the soul frame world right now uh, but there will be but yeah things are just kind of starting off i wonder if i can sneak by since i kited that guy out there 
Ooh. Oh, there we go. I'm just here to like steal. They are very angry. Oh, I'm, my head's covering up all the loot I'm getting. So yeah, I'm really under leveled for this area, but I always love to kind of run in and try to steal, steal stuff. And I know there's usually like a really good chest in here. So here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Let's run, 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 run. Okay, okay, all right. Uh, oh, okay, Archer, let's not go that way. Let's go this way. Uh, oh, uh oh, uh oh, ah, ah! Oh, okay, 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 all right, hold on here. Let's get out of here. Uh, yeah, panic, panic. There you go. I should not be trying this right now. Okay, okay, I killed that guy, but I gotta get out of here. Okay, okay, okay. These big guys at that level, it's just no hope. It's just no hope. Okay. Yeah, if you kite them out and try to get like just a few of them, it's it's easier, but Whew. yeah, okay. I think the night's about to end and uh, that's just too stressful to try to fight those big guys in there. There is no cooldown on dodge and it's a little, um, it's kind of like uh, maybe like a bit uh, God of War-ish. So you can dodge or you can um, do the roll if you double tap. Uh... Ah, Crackle. Hey, Happy New Year. Yeah, the punishment for dying in Preludes right now is nothing. I actually think you get an extra healing potion if you make it back. Oh, you can see we got step height problems. He, <laughs> he, he, he can't get up. Oh, this is game development. I'll take a free hit, though. You can see even one hit, and he just destroys me. Oh, man. I really can't fight that guy right now. Okay, I gotta stop trying to fight this. Can you see how spazzy I am when I'm fighting? Yep. Yeah, I think I really struggle with stairs. Okay, let's get away from here. Yes, you can sneak. You absolutely can sneak. Um, those big guys don't have, for some reason, they don't have the sneak attack hooked up to them, which would have been amazing while he was being so silly with those stairs, right? I'm kind of winning like a little bit of an attrition battle, even though I'm under level for this. Oh, let's see, he's having a good time again. Let's see if I can just like... Oh. Oh, this is very good for my loot situation. 
Okay. And make sure, oh, <laughs> make sure you kick every barrel. I might have cleared this, just being such a cheese with the running away. Oh, who's up there? Where are you? I hear you. Are you down there? Oh, ooh. Okay, I need to find, that sounds like an archer. I need to find that archer. You see some lighting bugs in here. You see this like leaking of the new lighting system. Uh, those would be things I can't fix on stream because that's going to be someone way smarter than me. There you go. Okay. Oh, oh. Okay, cool. Ooh, the music says. We don't have game sound? I turned it way down. You want me to turn it way up? Let me turn it back up. How's that? Is that a little better? You hear that? Ooh, okay, all right, all right. Sun, the sun has come out. Okay, let me turn it up a bit more. How about this? What do you think? Is that better? More? Okay, more, more, more. Let's go. Let's crank it up. And let's do this. How's that? How's that? Okay, cool. Okay, good, nice, okay. Uh, yeah, okay, so the day is out. And if you are uh, a Prelude um, player, you're now seeing a preview of what you're gonna get in a few weeks which is hell is frozen over and we're trying cooldowns only like mass effect one for all of the abilities yes yes there's gonna be tons and tons of weapons of course i'm just using uh starter sword uh we have not a lot of weapons right now we have uh we have a dual sword we have a pole arm and we have um like a regular kind of long sword uh yeah the music and the sound already is cool um yeah so every weapon yeah few next few weeks so just check it check it out if you're a preludes player so these are my my three i've unlocked and they're now on cooldowns now isn't that insane and you can see them kind of refilling that right I think there's a big guy. Oh, hello. Let's see if I can get a good parry. In. There we go. Got the parry in. Okay, yeah, so that's the parry. You see my arm will glow a little bit when um, the uh, cooldowns expire. Yes, a big hammer would be awesome, especially for throwing, for sure. I just realized today that you could uh, kill these polluters with the Ode Cannon, and they'll stop spewing pollution. It's so cool. Um, there's a little boardwalk, like, uh, like near my house.
These archers are a pain in the butt. Okay. Yes, you... They're... Yeah, magic use is definitely going to be a role. Um, in Preludes, again, things are pretty simple. So magic use is definitely on the on the roadmap, so to speak. You can see we got some issues where um, where the water reflections are too bright, uh, not respecting time of day, because I just put that in. Um, Ah, uh, the guys near the town are way tougher. All right, all right. Oh! Ah! That's not good. That's not good. I'm out of healing. Okay, well I'm gonna I'm gonna die. So now we're gonna see how death works. So you die. You can use your sparrow to know which way to go back. I will not make it in time. I don't think I'm gonna make it in time. Yes, there's no IK on the feet right now. So if you're standing on an incline, uh, your feet look silly. Or I'm hovering as a ghost. Ooh, ah. Okay. So I didn't get to my body in time. And no free healing potions for me. But I'm in the town now so I can sneak. Oh yeah, flail would be very cool. We're gonna have all the cool medieval weapons and then old sort of weird old tech goodies on top. It's gonna be awesome. There's no aim in melee. Uh, it's kind of, um, oh, danger, danger that direction. There's no aim, uh, but there is aim in uh, sword throw. <laughs> So that's an aspect. You can see I'm bad at it. Get out of here. Let's go. Let's go. Come at me, bro. Oh, of course he leads with the unblockable. Please have a healing potion. Whoa. See, this is 25. I should not be here. You see, I can't even kill them with that. Yeah, I should not be here. Yeah, I think what we need is when you're blocking, which sets up the throw, it'd be nice to have a little reticle there, wouldn't it? <laughs> so you know where you're aiming. Strafing, influencing, swing directions. Yeah, we haven't done that. The strafe is how you change enemies. So if you're attacking, like, if you're swinging like this, and there's an enemy behind you, and you uh, use the move stick, it'll kind of change your lock-on like that, which is maybe uh, less like a Souls game and maybe more like um, Ghost of Tsushima. You know what I mean? All you gotta do is reserve your title, Envoy title, at soulframe.com, and then you're in the kind of like lottery pool. Uh, we're definitely not... We're not trying to be too hard to get with that, but we, uh, as I said before, 
we are running on a VM right now for all the servers. So we can't just like dump lots of people in just yet. Uh, and Warframe cross save was happening and lots of great things there. So we didn't want to like stress out our uh, IT and our web team and everything by adding uh, more pressure. So yeah. Yes, there'll be lots of customization. Right now there isn't a ton. I really need healing right now. Healing, 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 healing. No healing. Okay. No healing. Yeah, Ghost was amazing for sure. Yeah, the lighting is good, isn't it? <laughs> you can <laughs> it's um obviously an obsession of mine um but uh, the lighting artist um has been working on this obviously lighting is all the art and tech all all married together so um you have to have a lot of a lot of things going right at, at the same time uh oh Yeah, there are going to be uh, choices in the game, um, but um, and there are like some factions that we're hinting at right now. Uh, Silent Rose is this um, Night Maiden uh, resistance faction that didn't get uh, controlled by the Og uh, song that kind of made everyone forget forget who they were. Uh, so they they're um, kind of I don't know. I hate to call it graffiti because it sounds uh, too modern, but they have their symbols and, and stuff kind of in the world. So that's going to be a, a cool faction uh, that uh, players will be able to engage in and learn about. Should be fun. It is not... I know it's called Soul Frame, and that's an un unfortunate similarity to a crazy, important, amazing genre. Uh, but the game is not um hard like that uh it is hard ish especially if you're under leveled you can see me kind of kiting and running away from lots of enemies because i get really killed really killed fast that's how grammar works um but it is not intended to be that that kind of um level of difficulty for the most part but obviously we'll have some scaling bosses and that kind of thing just gonna check out what's going on here before I go in the Undercity, I'm gonna I'm gonna check my um, yeah. I mean, obviously, Elden Ring we came out as we were um, working on this initial idea for this game. Oh, um, and it's obviously uh, a masterpiece, but we're not gonna. Um, it's not meant to be that tier of difficulty. And in fact, I was over the break going back and bashing my face against the Godskin duo because uh, that's where I am stuck right now. And I know I have to make sleeping pots before anyone tells me. Um, I know I have to do that. I have not. I don't think, no, no I don't think I have. Um, but I love it. Uh, but we're not going to make... Uh, that's not exactly what we're making. Um, it is definitely going to be a lot more casual and a lot more petting animals and um, and that sort of thing. But we, we obviously love the style of combat in that. Um game in those games and uh so i think right now for what uh soul frame has you're kind of seeing a, a hodgepodge of influences from warframe from uh from uh, great melee games like the souls genre um 
like uh, the God of War games, and um, also one of my favorites ever, Ghost of Tsushima. So it's 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 kind of uh, it's kind of uh, a bit of all of that together, isn't it? A blend of influences, I suppose. Hard to hard to tease it out. It isn't really officially in the same universe as Warframe. Uh, I think I think that would be fun to play with, Easter egg wise. Um, but we didn't want to create constraints on the Warframe team and vice versa, so it isn't really set in the same. Oh, I'm going to go into the Undercity. Before before I do, I'm going to um, Drifter Combat wasn't. Uh, we used some of the Drifter um, combat code, obviously. Uh, it wasn't a test bed necessarily because we were sort of doing it in parallel. Um, but we benefited from sharing code and sharing experience and that sort of thing. Uh, but I'm going to just quickly check all my crafting because um, I have been trying to craft this piece of armor and I can't find uh, the joinery for it. Found something, have you? I'll try not to see it through it. Uh, okay. Okay, so I think it's this one. Oh I don't have the joinery I need for that, okay? Too soon. You can see some uh, Warframe UI leaking in here. Let's do Eldor for that, and let's uh, let's let's go for it. All I have said, yet you hold me still. Fine. Be my vessel then, envoy. Let us fail together. Okay. Maybe every prelude stream needs to have a, a pet the wolf moment, like a almost like a ritual. Let's see what's my what's on my journal right now. We use a bit of mega. We she does have self esteem issues actually. Do I have anything to spend right now in my Tempest upgrade? I do, I do. Okay. I'm gonna go for that. What else do I have here? I just fixed the hair shading a little bit, so I'm probably gonna just keep this. Is this still broken when you pet the wolf more than once? I think it is. Let's go try. Here's me pretending I'm going to code um, code on the stream and fix bugs. And then when I find a bug that's scary, I'm like, uh, someone else has to do it. Okay. Maybe the wolf petting got fixed. Actually, actually, um, we can we can ride the wolf now. Um, let's we can we can go for that. Let's try. It's gonna be awesome. Uh, okay, good to meet you. You're not at a Mononoke at all, are you? Okay, let's let's Orlik gotta say here. How does it feel, brave vessel of souls? Take notes, little one. We are at Epiphany's castle. Well, I've read all your stuff, and I need to find out more. So, okay, so Tobal Kane's gonna work on that. I'm going to go back. Um, yeah, the Arsenal UI is uh, needs a huge redesign, doesn't it? It's super clunky right now, but the the uh, that's all my fault. Um, I love the aesthetic of it. We just got to clean up the usability of it. 
is yes it is a baby on his shoulder and it animates now let me let me just go back here <laughs> he's got a little shoulder baby <laughs> uh, makes me so happy okay well anyway don't mind me okay You can see some. You see some light leaking here. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Almost got crushed. Okay. All right. You see that flickering there? Let's see if we can repro that. There. I know what that is, but I'm not gonna fix it. It's the level of these guys. I should. These guys are way too high level. Are you dead? You're not dead. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I just dodged. Oh, this is so scary. I just. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, this will get me a healing pot. Let's go. Oh, bad throw. Very bad throw. Let's try again. Okay. Alright. Alright. There you go. Let's treat it like a Halo game. Okay. Dodge is still tap. Yeah. Oh, oh, holy crap. Oh my god. This is amazing. This is the first time organically I have found Benjotar, the wandering ancestor. This is very important because I am not powerful enough. But with his sword, I am. <laughs> oh, okay. Can't even hit barrels. There we go. There we go. Okay, let's let's do this. Let's do this. Okay. All right. Okay, all right, all right, here we go, here we go. Oh. Is he sort of brain dead? I'll take advantage. Yeah, this is gonna be a lot easier. These guys are 20, but this is gonna be a lot easier for me because I've got Benjotar in my heart. Crap. Oh, that's the worst dodge in history. Thank God for parry. Oh, oh, let's just... Oh, yeah, fall damage. <laughs> fall damage. Uh-oh. Fall damage is not going to go well. Crap, I can't get down there. Oh, yeah, I can. Yeah, I can. There we go. Oh, and I jumped right off again. Okay, well, I had enough health to survive. This is uh, very unscripted. 
But I lost the sword. Oh, I lost the sword. There you go. There's the penalty for it. Whoa. Foggy. Whoa, foggy. Ah, yes. I know. You'd think I should have been walking on the water. You're absolutely right. You can see these little... I'm gonna punch you guys. Punch. Who can play that game? Oh. See him like level four right here. Oh my 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 uh my my ugly face is covering that up though. I'm I'm in over my head, guys. We gotta get out of this. We gotta get out of this situation. It would have been easier to code than to play at this level. Ooh, uh well. We could loot though while we're here. Ooh, Zeppelin, I need that. Okay. Oh. I'm just a ghost. Ignore me. I'm in a foggy, ghosty world. There's no way I'll make it in time. Oh man, I just, I'm just, I'm gonna get completely owned here. Can I get out this way? Nope. <laughs> They're all coming in. Oh, I can still dodge in the water. Get out of here. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, I'm telling you. I've made a big mistake coming here. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Dodge. Oh, Perry. Jeff would be so proud of me. I actually parried when I needed to. Oh man, this is too stressful. Oh, thank God. Okay. Get out of here. Woo.
Okay. Oh, I'm so glad. Ooh, night has fallen. Okay. Yes. I am not good at parrying, but I want to get good. Uh, yeah, I'm not very good at, um, at, at, uh, sold games either. Char, you ought seek my replacement instead. Okay, did I get the joiner for this? Nope. No armor joineries. Oh, that would be so cool. All right, well. See you later. Yeah, what bugs are we fixing? I'm just like playing. And the, the crazy thing is I'm going to reset my account. And then all the crafting progress will evaporate. Very sad. Very, very, very sad. There are plans to help Tuokane with her uh, self-esteem issues, of course. Uh, maybe I'll do this one more time. Let's, let's go down in here. Let's go down in here. Ooh, I know where that one is. Oh my god. I've got a prelude zomboy telling me where I need to farm the joinery. Okay. Yeah, so what bugs are we fixing tonight? Apparently not a lot, but okay. There was a problem with the moon orientation in the sky versus where the light was coming from doesn't seem to be a problem right now maybe we'll have to wait until um dawn i'm gonna go try to find that chest that the wishing well showed me the location and i actually know where that one is so this could be good this is an alpha testing we are we're calling it our preludes just to be nerdy about it I don't want to fight these guys. I don't want to fight these guys. I'm just here to get the loot. Which is on the other side of this wall. Ignore me, ignore me. Ah, oh, crap. You saw me, you saw me. I think it's up here. And like over here. Yep, there we go. Hello. Oh, two healing potions. Pretty good. Oh, yeah, alpha riding. Okay, 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 okay. Here we go. Uh... <laughs> Poof. Here's my friend. So we just put this back in. Uh, whoa. We just got a huge, um, huge uh, crashing thing in the code. It's freaking out. So let's take a look at this. Um, yeah, different animations for picking them up would be good. Um, let me look at this code problem. I think this will be fun. So I'm going to have to like restart the game to... Uh, to get it going here. Let's take a look. Let's take a look here. It's blowing up in the HUD as soon as I got on the wolf. So the HUD's kind of exploded. 
Uh, and we're back. We're back to game development, aren't we? Okay. So. Okay. So it's in the HUD code, which is in Lua. So I'm going to add that to. I can't repro the pet multiple times breaking it. So we are going to look at this code problem instead. Let's see here. Let's see here. Uh, 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 uh. We'll do a window capture. I'm going to add a new one. We're going to change it to, what are we adding it to? This one. Okay, so what's my problem here? Okay, you can see how insanely bright my OLED is. My new Christmas OLED is. Okay, so what I need to do is I need to fill the context of this and I'm going to, this is going to be a crime against nature, but I'm going to actually restart and lose some of my progress so that we can um, try to repro this. So let's do that. Okay. There we go. So what should happen? Oh, I think, I think the night is done, but let's resummon our wolf. And we'll hop on and see what blows up. Okay, so. Oh, yeah. Okay, I remember this. So, what can you see on stream? Okay. You can see we're trying to access a nil method on soul frame weapon, SF weapon. Uh, let's just take a look here. What is the weapon that we have? It is a wolf pet melee weapon. Okay. So it is not supporting this get melee tree, which is fine. So it's trying to, as soon as I mount the wolf, it's using the wolf's inventory with his claw weapons. Um, and, uh, and that's the problem. So I can just be lazy and just check to see if it has this method first before I call it. That's going to... Okay, there you can see this is what the HUD looks like when it blows up. Uh, if not, is no SF any weapon. And using the wrong syntax, I have to use that syntax. There we go. Okay. Okay, so here we go. Let's try this again. Okay. Okay, and we'll hop on, and we're calling it again. Ah, yes, okay. So this is for the charge attack, which is showing stuff down the hood. And we'll just add another melee tree check in here, because it looks like the wolf is using a different weapon. Okay, Woo. okay. Well, that's progress. Can I jump? Yes. <laughs> yes. Crudely. And I can uh, sprint. And jump. 
And I think... I think I can also attack now. Uh, let's try. <laughs> okay, let's go see how that works. Oh, wait. I wonder if this feature still exists. Um, how do I... Oh, that's my emotes. Let me see. Does this feature still work? Aim at a dude. And summon. Oh, wait. That's not it. Nope. So because he's summoned, he won't play his summoning attack. Well, we'll have to work on that one day. But because it's hard, I won't do it alive. <laughs> okay. He can attack. <laughs> okay. That's pretty fun. <laughs> oh, I'm stuck in the tree. Oh, I'm cl oh, I got the code in the way, don't I? Oh, that's so sad. Isn't that the saddest thing to have the code in the way? Yeah, let's move it over here. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for the uh, tip. Oh, I just bonked my head on that sign. Okay. Let's go see. I think there's a camp up here I can go. Can I just, like... Attack random boxes. Maybe there's archers up here. Hi, guys. Don't hit my wolf. All right. Can I loot from wolf back? I cannot. I cannot. So yeah, we got some control issues there. Ooh, and I'm actually hurt, but it's the HUD's not showing that. Interesting. <laughs> That's awesome. Sun's working. The one thing I thought I was going to fix in the stream is whether the sun and the moon were linked up to the, the direction of the light, and apparently they are. So I don't think there is. No, it's right now just the wolf. <laughs> oh, oh, we broke it. Getting killed. I'm gonna. I better take notes, even if I don't fix it. If I get killed on Wolfback, it breaks the uh, revive system. Making notes. Breaks revive. Okay. All right, what else can we what else can we find? What else can we find? Let's uh get rid of this. Okay. So revive broke, the HUD broke. We've sort of fixed the HUD a bit. I'm in the middle of a quest state right now. Okay. Let's see what other broken things we can find.
Yeah, so you don't have your abilities. Your attacks are just for the wolf. And you can jump. And you can sprint. That's pretty much it right now, wolf back. You can see the wolf doesn't have any um, melee distance correction. He's not. He's not kind of latching on. I'll make another note. Wolf attack needs some magnetism. So you can do jumps and runs. That's that's it right now. We'll have to work on that. You can see that my HUD also says loadout underscore warframe. <laughs> when I am uh, riding the wolf right now. So that's pretty goofy. Is it easy mode for this guy? Yeah, that's pretty awkward right now, isn't it? Bet you if I dismount, I'm like half dead. Oh yeah, that would be cool. Yeah, you can see the sliding is like really bad. Like the animations are great. It's just the the way the turns feel like sort of frictionless. So you get a bit of that see that that slidiness like that. I did know that that existed, but We'll be able to fix that though. Does the wolf take fall damage? That's a good question. Let's find out. That's also interesting. Like, the shrines are not detecting passing by when I'm on the wolf. A lot of fallout from this. Activating. Okay. Cool. Let's fall in there. Let's really break it by bringing this like into um, like a little underground area. Apparently not. No fall damage for Wolf. Okay. I clip my head. Oh, oh, is there enough space for my head? Whoa. Ooh. Okay, well. Yeah, it's just that slide, I think, where his orientation is not fast enough matching the orientation of travel, which makes it feel weird. When you're just going back and forth, it looks great. Like, the turns and stuff are pretty awesome.
player does take fall damage. Yes. Player does take fall damage. Jump over the Yucky River. Oh, don't mind if I do. Well, you have bugs, but you're a good boy. You're still a good boy. You do get enemy health bars for the one that you are soft locked to. Let's see if I can show this. Oh, we got the twin uh, archers going. So, oh, so you see that guy gets health bars. This is really not cool. Archers are going to kill me. <laughs> Do you see that? Like I went stuck in my neck. Uh... Oh. Yeah. Yep. Oh. This is like the furthest away shrine in the world. There's no way. Put some fleas on the wall. That's a good idea. Right now, healing is uh, a consumable. And you can see I have been desperate. It would be cool to try... Oh, I almost made it. It would be cool to try some melee, melee combat from the wolf, wouldn't it? You guys, you guys get away. Let's see what you got. Let's see what you got. Oh. Just ignore us. We're just... It's friendly. It's friendly. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. Yeah. There is a pole arm. I think I could reset and show that. Let me see here. It's a bummer. I've been getting materials to craft, and then I want to keep resetting to um, try different stuff. It would be cool to pick up their weapons. It would be cool. Although we're probably kind of doing the invest in your weapon thing, so it might be pretty pitiful compared to the stuff you'd invested in. Kind of got back to the college, haven't I? Okay, well, we only fixed like two bugs. Let me see. What am I doing? Oh, yeah, maybe I'll do like a little reset. Let's just try that here. Just give me a second. I can make multiple accounts, actually. I don't know why I keep re resetting my progress. It's just something in the, in the vibe of it. Are you sure you want to reset? Yes. Okay. Okay, and then if we go like this. Uh, and then like shut down like that. Uh 
have people been watching uh, the Final Fantasy uh, stream? How's it looking? I'll probably get a uh, rant about it from Rebecca Monday. <laughs> it speaks to the philosophical transitory nature of life. That's right. It's like reincarnation. Let's see here. Children raised in castles aloft, made hunters grave. Of others, not. Remember this. sky live valiant fields of rain and wild definitely uh, wolf cooldown agreed where omen beasts of alka's lost remember still and tell the ghost This is artistic nudity, right? So yeah, this is how this is the intro right now, uh, and we kind of like it um, that it's just kind of pretty quick, a little poem. Um, so yeah, I gotta spend my points. Uh, maybe go with this, the Fay this time. I'll spend my starting points in courage, uh, and then I'll put clothes on. Sadly, and maybe I'll try pull arm this time. But yeah, these are just the starting weapons we have right now. Uh, obviously, there'd be a lot more to choose from, and um, lots of customization. Right now, you can't even change your eyes or your skin tone or anything yet but obviously that would be hugely important, right? Um, yeah, okay, I think we're good. You see the attachments floating off the back? Here's our little message. I'm sending myself love, I guess, in this. 
to me from me. Taxi. Uh, and yeah, I think then Orlok comes in. Their meaning like a river curving beyond sight. Yes, that is a good title. Bye. And yeah, you're gonna hit that anytime you wanna know which way you gotta go if you have an active quest. And um, this is uh, our little journal here. Um, really cool thing is um, more like other RPGs, you can have them all kind of going in different orders, which I really love. Uh, and we're gonna keep that. So I'll give you an example of that. No, it's mostly keyboard too. I'm just playing on controller. This is uh, a dev build. It's not far from what the Preludes players are playing, but there are some changes uh, to how dodging works and stuff like that. We're excited to get into the hands of our um, Prelude envoys. And if you want to get in on the pre 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 alpha, uh, just reserve your envoy title and then you'll be in the, the pool when we're kind of picking people out of a hat. But if you do get into Preludes, I'm going to show you where the blacksmith is hidden. He's up here. Oh, there you go. It's a much slower weapon. Let's let's try it out on these archers. Oh. Oh. These guys are 20, so I sh There is leveling in the game, so... Oh, cool. I haven't even seen that animation yet. That's awesome. How about a big hit for you? Oh, yeah. Okay. New account should probably do the Garen quest first. Instead of running over here. But. Who's talking? Who's talking? Oh, oh, off to a bad start. Okay, they're gonna go back there. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Okay, cool, so, uh, all I have right now for Fables is the one with uh, Garam Rood that we showed at Tunnelcon. But then, um, this is so game design simple, but I'm still excited about it. Yes, we are planning on adding a mini map. That would be very helpful. And a compass. Someone's annoyed by random light from invisible source. Yes, that is me. I expediently added that. I am the glove of thumbs, the blight of ingots, the waste of coal. Forged of faults am I. Bye. So yeah, and then that means you have both of those um, at the same time. Just kind of trying to speak to how uh, Soulbringer is going to be a lot more asynchronous uh, in keeping with other RPGs, right? Um, anyway, this is my 
a pole arm. This is a pole arm that we have in Preludes. And uh, yeah, I, I've been seeing some good questions. How are we going to handle power creep? Uh, yeah, we always intend to handle it well, and uh, we always end up making new mistakes. Uh, so that's kind of an ongoing, uh, ongoing challenge with any game that runs for a very long time. Uh, so yeah, I don't have a well-considered a strategic answer, but I did see you in chat asking a few times. Uh, oh, I see someone else here. Soul Frame will be on console, uh, of course. Um, right now, Preludes is just on PC, which is um, a bit faster for iterating and pumping out builds uh, to our lovely envoys that are in there. Um, Yeah, so we don't have a ton of weapons yet, but uh, obviously the game's going to have tons and tons of playstyles uh, and weapons. Uh, someone is asking if there's going to be like a magic user type uh, specialization, and uh, that's definitely in the cards. Uh, I can show not that, but I can I can show. Um... Oh, oh, oh. I love this moment. So now I have a blacksmith. Yay! She's not the most confident blacksmith. Um, but uh, she knows her stuff. Um, but yeah, for, um, for how the virtues are going to work, um, you can see I'm spec a little more into courage, so that's kind of like a warrior style approach. Um, spirit is more for people that are into um, RPing as a magic or playing as a magic sort of style. And then Grace is kind of more like assassin type style, which is about, you know, agility and, and sort of finesse weapons and things like that. Um, and then Courage is obviously just a uh, more typical warrior. And then there are actually mixes in between. I could have probably shown that when I was uh, specking my dude. Can I do that now? I might be able to, actually. Let me... If I, if I balance it out, you're kind of in what we call the champion thing. If you go into, like, all spirit, it's more like shaman thing. Uh, and then into Grace, it's kind of more rogue. And then if you do the sort of in-between states, you get these other kind of specializations. They're kind of more suggestions. You can kind of equip how you want, but um, that's kind of how it works. So like uh, a spirit and courage mix is kind of more like how a knight might be. Um, yeah. That's that's uh, that's the thing. Are there any rabbits in here? Oh yeah, there's a sleeping rabbit right there. A very important part of uh, of the game. Oh, you can see the rabbit has a um, GI volume line. So I gotta, I gotta I gotta figure that out one day too. Any squirrels? Oh. <laughs> He's got a little bowl. Okay, all right. Look, obviously the goal of the game is to have as many rabbits in here as possible, and um, and keep keep them fed. I don't think you can eat the rabbits because the omen gods of the world will be very uh, unhappy if you're overly carnivorous. I don't think I have anything to craft, as you saw. So death breaks not my bind to bellows. Find you fragments slain by time, and I will try to see them whole. But no, I never wore Karner's moonsteel helm, and never will I deserve to. <laughs> I, 
I got disconnected from my own game. That is hilarious. That is hilarious. <laughs> can you get a shoulder baby? Yes, maybe you can. Uh, I think that well, I will have to see. Is there... We will be localizing um, Soul, Soul Frame in a similar way to uh, Warframe. Yes, for sure. Failed to connect to my own server. Well, like I said, it is... Um, the, re the real servers are... Uh, in uh maybe still in the boxes I, I i say that kind of in jest but i, I don't think they are uh, but the vm is definitely uh is definitely light for um, getting a larger audience yeah well i think i'm probably i'm a, i'm a, coming up on two hours which is, is basically the limit of uh of your patients watching me dither around. You can see here, I was working on this OK Lab um, blending space for the sun during the time of day transitions and it turned out really well. Uh, and then of course we did fix barely a bug with uh, getting on the wolf and the HUD exploding because the wolf's claw weapons are not the, the type that the HUD expected. Um, this is not, um, no, this is the same uh, tech that we use for Warframe. So we're going to be sharing it and hopefully uh, if things go well, as the teams get a little bigger, then um, the tide will rise and raise all the boats because we've been sharing stuff like the new GI lighting and uh, the fog system uh, that looks amazing in uh, the Entrati tile set. So hopefully we have some benefits of sharing as, as sometimes difficult as uh, it is. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, as the, uh, is the Nightfold from Stranger Things, it, it isn't, but it sure has that same vibe, doesn't it? Where you kind of go into some extra plane and there's water there. Um, can't say it was intentionally inspired, but I can definitely see it's super connected. Um, but yeah, this is uh, this is our our code. We call it yeah, we call it our evolution engine. We've called it that for quite a while. It was the one we used in way back in Dark Sector when I was uh, starting out as a as a little coder. Uh, yeah, SoulFrame is uh, currently is a P2P, um, but we're gonna have we're gonna try for the summer to do a bit of like passive relay stuff so that when you go into Soul Vision, you can see other players that might be playing near you, and if you want, you can um, invite them into your your world and and party up that way. So it is um, focused on co-op and solo uh, nothing nothing pvp-ish uh, on the on the roadmap at this point uh, but we're all kind of just working on the pre pre, -pre alpha with our uh, soul frame preludes with our envoys and just kind of taking one step at a time seeing what's successful seeing what's not uh, and that's kind of uh, how it goes the there is a main overarching linear story um, but uh, the way we're doing it is going to be a little bit like i showed it's um, kind of in bits and pieces and asynchronous so if you go one direction and i go another from the starting area uh, what we get for um, the stories that are told to us uh, will be a little different so we don't want to have uh, too much like hardcore long solid chunks of uh, linear content. We want to make it feel like it's or, or more a little bit more organic in the world. 
Um, yeah, let's see. I, I, uh, just before the time is it? I probably head off in like four minutes, but I do, I do know I was got caught up in playing and trying to learn how to parry better. How do you feel now about starting a new game from scratch in terms of engines? Landscape's pretty different. Yeah, it's uh, landscape is is crazy, um, and uh, yeah, like there's a lot of cool. Um, a lot of cool things being done indie wise. Um, Godot, Godot's interesting. Um, Wicked Engine. There's there's all sorts of interesting choices, um, but obviously Unreal uh, and Unity are just monstrous and huge, and it would be absolutely crazy to start a big game and not use something like that. And I'm crazy. We're going to keep using our own evolution engine stuff. Um, I'm really proud of it. It isn't. Uh, in some ways, it's competitive with Unreal, and in some ways, it isn't. Um, but uh, it's it's our own thing. And actually, here it is <laughs> on the screen. Uh, on the screen, uh, it's our own thing, and um, and we kind of control our own uh, fate with that, you know. So that's why we, we uh, keep making the silly decision to do this. But if I was uh, young young and starting out, I would definitely um, invest my skills in one of those engines. That's probably the best way to get into the engine, uh, into the industry is knowledge of those things. At least when I look at what, what uh, the, the job market is, it's experience with those things is huge. Um, the one, kind of potential downside I see with that is um, you don't uh, get a great appreciation for like the guts. Um, you don't do a lot of low-level programming, low-level optimization, because uh, as you would obviously expect, uh, you would want Unity or Unreal to do those things for you. That's why you're using them. Um, but uh, because I'm gray and old, I still enjoy knowing all that stuff, the, the guts underneath, uh, and being involved in there. Um, there probably will be uh, some unification of launcher stuff, um, but right now we're not doing that. We just have like kind of our own little little dealy um, because um, yeah, where is this? Or is this here? Oh, it doesn't even capture it, eh? Oh yeah, okay, well. What if you could see it, it would show you a little video loop. But yeah, it's this it's similar to um to uh what Warframe uses, but it's not unified yet because so frame small, uh, the team is smaller, and uh, Warframe is a juggernaut and keeps uh, going really quick, and, and we don't want to make anything difficult for the Warframe team. So that's why some of our servers are still in the cardboard. Um, yeah, so currently a question is like, can you, Kind of spec a magic user you can't in preludes but that's the intention of, of the game is that um, if you don't want to be up in the face with the with the long swords and stuff um, that you can um, play like uh, uh, you know the support roles you can play you know glass cannon or distant distant roles that's kind of what we're trying to do in the sort of uh, design of our simple RPG system. Uh, uh, you will, you're doing great. It'll be a great success unless you release at a bad time. <laughs> yeah, I suppose, right? Uh, not more launchers. Yes, I know. There's enough launchers in the world, um, but obviously using one for both uh, might might be simpler um, and have less in total if you were playing both.
Uh, it's going to be playable single player, yes. Um, but obviously it's um, kind of best when you play co-op, like many games. But you absolutely can, and uh, like Warframe, we're going to embrace that playstyle for sure. Uh, there will be Soulframe news at Tonicon this year. Not, we hope not to uh, use as much time as we did last year. Uh, we got kind of out of control with how much we were uh, biting off more than we could chew, uh, but we will. Uh, impression of Evolution Engines has been a bit buggy, but insanely well optimized. Well, I'll take it. Uh, we do uh, we do take pride on on optimization and running on a lot of platforms, and you can see it this year um, coming up when we're going to be running on phones and maybe a, a Samsung fridge or something. I always like to make that uh, repetitive joke. Um, and uh, the best is yet to come. The stuff that's coming in in the next month, um, even for the core engine, uh, is going to be really interesting. We have this new concept of uh, really reducing the performance and loading of kind of like repetitive objects like the static world or whatever uh, has been really huge. Um, so that is going to be many, 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 many megabytes smaller and faster to load. I haven't seen the Unreal Engine VR injector. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, Darkness 2 was made with uh, the same code. Yes. Uh, yes, it does. It does run on laptops. Um, yes, stylish pancake. I agree. A little diversity in tech is probably nice, isn't it? Uh, Yes, you do work, lose your mind when you work against the guts a bit, don't you? Yeah, uh, yeah. The, com the complexity of the games, there's a lot of games that take uh, a while to come into their own um, and get patched a lot. Um, I think uh, for Soul Frame, it's going to be, uh, I suppose, our philosophy with it is a little different, which is rather than like go huge with Soul Frame and just like make or break giant, giant, giant release is to do kind of what we're doing now, which is like, okay, there's a little part of the island. There's a, there's like some procedural dungeons. There's uh, three weapons plus a few you can um, get from bosses and craft them and just kind of build it from there rather than just having this giant banner go for broke release. I think it kind of suits the way DE works a little better. Um, I think we're kind of better when we're in that feedback loop with, uh, with the Tenno or the Envoys. Um, monetization probably going to be very similar to uh, Warframe, but um, uh, I can't see something like a battle pass in the future right off the bat, but no promises, I'm not sure, but it's gonna be uh, a free game. And then uh, with our our hands open to please buy something uh, in the game. Uh, the Soul Frame team is uh, not, not super huge, um, but it's also not super small now. We just started kind of ramping up last year. Um, but it is uh, far, far, far smaller than uh, Warframe's team at this point. But we get to ride on their coattails, right? We get to have the tech that they make. We get to have um, the uh, database and infrastructure that they make. Um, so you kind of stand on their shoulders, which is why we can um, kind of look and run as good as we do off the hop just by, uh, by uh, using that stuff. Um, and you can see it, you can see it in Soul Frame, right? Like some of the UI, you might see like, um, oh yeah, the chat screen is right out of Warframe and that sort of stuff. Um, I suppose in a similar way that when you are making a game with Unreal that you might have the, the great robot guy running around, that sort of thing. So there is a bit of reuse that way. Um, but we've been replacing it all. Um, 
We don't have control over dark sector banning. No, I saw I saw um, the ban in Australia is interesting. I might uh, I might look at that, but I I'm almost certain we don't have control over that. Um, map scale is not huge right now, but it's going to be um, larger than anything we've tried before, and it's going to be kind of um, a day night cycle overworld kind of vibe. Uh, and then all of those um, all of those kind of procedural dungeony kind of things that we do in uh, Warframe streamed hopefully a bit seamlessly on top. Sorry about the stream uh, volume. I did it is cranked. I've got my little Samsung here. It's a little far away from my my face, and I'm kind of mumbling. Uh, yeah, okay, then people are saying they're interested, which is so so nice. And yeah, it is uh, it is going to be a live service game like Warframe. Um I know that uh there's lots of live service games to choose from right now and I think there's a bit of exhaustion um amongst uh players for that type of game. Um but that's the kind of game that uh, our team is good kind of good at executing and we kind of love a, a game like that that has you know an uh, intertwined uh, community so that's what we're going to go for with this one as well uh, similar uh, system requirements to warframe yes although preludes right now is not optimized as warframe so it is a bit chuggy on a laptop um, Yes, uh, there uh, there are Australian players in Warframe. I think that person was talking about uh, Dark Sector on Steam. Uh, we haven't ported Doom to Evolution Engine. No, that would be funny. Uh, yes, yes, I have some very appreciated comments about um, how the games run well. Um, far away, I'm sure, but. Are you considering doing a mobile version with the current Warframe stuff going on? Yeah, I think we will. Um, I think it's really important to um, kind of find the game, find the magic of the game. You, you saw me getting kind of lost in playing it. So obviously things are looking very positive. I'd happily wait a load screen for better proceduralism. Yeah, I think that's fair. Um, sometimes, uh, sometimes improving that um, might not be mutually exclusive. Sometimes the proceduralism might be um, not necessarily something you have to pay for in load time. What games need is never skipping on pre-production prototypes in Warframe. Yeah, I suppose. Although, uh, but the silly thing with Soulframe Preludes is we're kind of doing the prototyping with the kind of the small invited audience, right? Uh, but uh, yeah, I think the scope of games and uh, production budgets and the you know the rising costs. I'm sure we've all seen uh, little bits of uh, leaks of all sorts of things suggests it's a it's a winner takes all kind of go for broke type situation isn't it um yeah i am curious too um someone's saying they're kind of curious how the larger public will react to a game that starts small like this uh i think there's some nerves about that as well and uh we don't know if that's a huge mistake uh, but we're gonna try <laughs> Um, I don't know why they banned Dark Sector. Um, is it a violence issue? I remember it was. I remember we had a little bit of censorship stuff going on. Um, and yeah, I, I, uh, oh yeah, my headset. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, there's a lot of great questions. Um, yes, Solar Winds, exactly. That was James's uh, cool game, and I played it tons before I even knew uh, who uh, James was or Digital Extremes or anything. So, uh, 
how does it feel moving into the big C to D? Uh, feels, uh, it feels fine. It feels fine. Thanks for asking. It's a little uh, unnerving at times, um, but as I may be uh, incompetent, but I surely do care. So I have that going for me at least. It was blood and gore. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It was very, very gory. What was that child game Steve was talking about earlier? Oh, Child of Light. That's a fantastic, fantastic um, fantasy game um, made by uh, Ubisoft. I think it's Ubisoft Art or something. Or there was, it was like a like a sub banner. It's an older game, um, but uh, really special, cozy vibe. Um, has this really cool um, sort of turn-based combat. Um, yeah, just a really interesting game, great design and just beautiful aesthetics uh, and beautiful writing. Um, yeah, I wish I could stay all night, but um, I am probably going to uh, head off soon. I didn't do a lot of coding. I think someone in chat said, maybe you should start coding before you start playing this time. You're probably right. Um, because I uh, I have been getting lost in the game and just uh, enjoying playing wh what little we have right now. It's still pretty compelling. Yeah, Child Light is turn-based. Exactly. Yes, yes. Um, we, <clears throat> yeah, there's not going to be a ton of gore in Soul Frame. Uh, we are going to try to be a little, um, I don't know, cozy is not the right word. Cozy is like, cozy is associated with like Stardew or Spirit Fair or something. But um, there is, there is like blood hits and, and things like that. But I don't think we're going to be really going over the top with it. Um, because we want to kind of make it feel a little bit of the romance of the fantasy rather than uh, the dark fantasy, because as you know, there are incredible, amazing dark fantasy uh, games already. Yes, naked butt. Yes, well, we will we will see about that. <laughs> we did uh, we did put some uh, cloth underwear on our envoys before we shipped it out. Um, Oh, I see. I see. We see some auto modding. Uh, well, sorry about that. But yeah, this is uh, this has been fun. Uh, thanks for hanging out with me. Uh, yeah, we finally did get a bit of snow here in Canada. Uh, finally, in January. Uh, <laughs> yeah, like Golden Eye. Yes, the movie. Yes. Um, <laughs> yes, Grim's talking about the engine bugs that just keep. They they started in dark sector and they stayed all the way through darkness and uh, and even Warframe. Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, uh, thanks again uh, for watching. Sorry, I didn't do m very much coding. Um, that seems to be the thing that's happening right now and for me with Soulframe. So hopefully, after I craft a bit and get used to the game. I'll be uh, more annoying about actually just coding it. I took some notes of things we have to fix because we're going to try to put the wolf in for our uh, preludes envoys that are playing. And it has tons of bugs that I just found while we were hanging out together. So thanks again. Uh, and uh, I see some familiar faces as well in chat. And it's great to, uh, to, to sort of electronically see you again. And we'll talk soon. And uh, yeah, until next time. Okay, I hope everyone has a good Saturday night or morning, where <laughs> Sunday morning, depending on where you are. Okay, good night, friends.